What is up, guys? Welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays. It is Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2024. Um, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Uh, I'm record I am pre-recording this. So if you are watching, uh, if you are watching live, it is not necessarily live. You are watching uh in the past. But I want you guys to type in your biggest win uh and let me know how your day is going. Okay. <clears throat> so as you do that. And it's ironic I say that, right? We always talk about, you know, if you're you're a client watching right now, we always talk about biggest wins. What's your biggest win? What has been your biggest win? And it's very important to get in that mind frame um, because life is going to beat you up. You already know this, right? But it becomes more apparent when you're on a fitness journey, okay? And that is the topic of today, which is um, staying motivated and never falling off and how to like how to just continue to win the day over and over and over. OK, so who here has felt like, you know, that they go through these slumps and I, I'm going to kind of walk you through this, um, you know, when you start a fitness journey, you're very motivated. You're extremely motivated to get on it. You're like, I'm sick and tired of where I'm at. I'm ready to fucking go all in no matter what. Um, and you do well. Most of us will do well for the first two, three, or four weeks. And then we hit this lull. We hit the stand, this standstill. Um, and just just say yes in the comments um, or not silently if you're listening or, or watching on replay. But <clears throat> we... You know, we hit this, we hit this wall, so to speak. And then we start thinking, you know, and this is human nature. When shit is going wrong, we start thinking of like, what is the first thing that we could eliminate? And ironically, the first thing that we always eliminate is our health, right? I could put this on the back and, you know, like I'm telling you guys this also speaking from experience, but like we put our health on the back burner. I could do this later. I'll push this later. I'll push my workout till later. I'll push my health till later. I can get my workouts in at another time. Uh, like my family needs me. My girlfriend needs me. My boyfriend needs me. My husband needs me. My kids need me. My, my mom, my dad, whatever it is, right? <clears throat> we have all of these things. And we <clears throat> always forget this age old saying of, you cannot pour from an empty cup, right? You guys have heard me say that over and over and over again. You cannot pour from an empty cup, okay? And I'm going to talk about how this relates to like staying motivated and never falling off in just a second. But like <clears throat> I say this to say that, guys, if you do not take care of yourself, everyone else, all this life that you are envisioning, you know, for your kids, for your mother, for, you know, to get back at your ex, uh, whatever it is, right? Like this, this energy that you have, ooh, let me get this microphone in here. This, this motivation that you have, um, or this, this person that you are doing it for, this family member that you are doing it for, is it, it you're never going to be able to do it for them because you're not doing anything for yourself. Is that making sense? If that makes sense so far, just let me know. Just silently nod. Say yes. Okay. Um, and guys, what will happen um, along your journey is you're going to go through slumps. You're going to hit a new low. You're going to feel great. You're going to feel like you're in the best shape of your life. And then all of a sudden you're going to fall off. And then how do we stay motivated and never fall off? And never go down this road. And when I say never fall off, I mean that like we don't stray too much because it's it is inevitable that life is going to beat you up. It is it is inevitable that you are going to have um, you are going to have obstacles along the way. That is inevitable. That is something that I can promise you. Okay, that is something that is going to happen no matter what. But how do you stay motivated? And guys, like, I want to let you know, like, I was not always this, I was not always this guy that, like, loved going to the gym and always enjoyed it and 
for <clears throat> the clients that are watching that were here that, that showed up to the holiday party. You know, I, I speaking of party, I told you about some of my party years and how I would go Monday through Wednesday. And that was me, man. Like I used to go to the gym Monday through Wednesday and then Wednesday night or you, sometimes I wouldn't even make it to Mon to Wednesdays. I would make it to maybe Tuesday. I work out Monday and Tuesday and fall off by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I would be what I call Mr. Monday, that person that says that they're going to start all over again on Monday. So how did I like, how do you get out of this cycle of really motivated and then not motivated, really motivated and then not motivated, doing extremely well and then falling completely off? like falling the fuck off, right? How do you how do you do that? Guys like there's no big secret to it, but the if there's anything that you can get from this, it's like embodying the person that you want to become or embodying the person that you uh that you see, you know, that maybe like you, you know, whether it's, if it's me, like, great, fuck yeah, I'm like, thank you. Um, if it's me, if it's a fitness influencer, if it's somebody, one of your coworkers, a friend or a family member that has a, an amazing physique, like, in, embody them. And I always give the example of, like, um, uh, J-Lo and, and The Rock, right? Because just, I don't know, there's just always the two that pop to mind. But, like, <clears throat> how do these people act? How does J-Lo act? How does The Rock act when The Rock or J-Lo or your favorite celebrity or your favorite fitness influencer or fatty or whoever, when shit is hitting the fan and nobody sees what is going on behind the scenes, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's relationship drama, whether it's trouble, whatever it is, guys, like how does this person act in the face of adversity? Like, do they just like, oh woe is me like fuck man like i always do so good in my fitness journey and then i fall off like guys that's not how it fucking happens like you be you act like that person because you ultimately like deep down inside you know that you're that person otherwise you wouldn't be listening to this or you wouldn't be watching this right now like for me when i <clears throat> when i was like started training consistently i'm like all right well how does how does somebody act that works out consistently that has the body that they want that understands about nutrition like how do they move right in the gym some of you guys know this uh if you you've been watching or following or listening for a while like i used to walk into the gym with a notebook a pen and paper people would be looking funny at me because i'd be writing down exactly how much weight exactly how many reps exactly how many sets but i didn't give a fuck because like that I knew that that is what was going to help take me to the next level. And look, ironically, now I teach you guys how to track right consistently so you're not missing. So guys, like how do you how do you ultimately embody this person? You do all or uh sorry, how do you ultimately not lose motivation? You do all of the things that you think that this person or this new version of you would do when shit hits the fan. When you get yelled at from work, when your boss is bitching at you, when you get fired, when you get a flat tire, when your car breaks down, when your significant other breaks up with you, when you get injured, what do you do? Do you just fucking say like, I'm like, oh man, like I hurt my ankle and now I can't do anything. Like what do you not like, do you not have the rest of your body? Right? <laughs> like if you, like I remember when I tore my pec, I was in the same mindset like, ah, can't do anything now. It's like, well, I still have a lower body. I could still fucking work out my lower body. I still have a other side of my body that works. <clears throat> I could still move. I could still walk. I could still do cardio. So guys, like how does like the elite version of you, how does this person act when shit hits the fan? Or if it's not the, if you can't envision that elite version of you yet, that's okay. But like, how does, how do you want to live your life in your fitness journey? In your fitness journey, how do you want to live your life? What do you want to look like? What do you want to feel like? When shit hits the fan, how do you work around it? And how do you find a workaround to make sure that you never fall off? Guys, this is how you stay motivated and never fall and never fall off. Because like, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't fucking miss the gym. 
And I don't miss the gym. Yeah, like sometimes I'm really motivated and I actually it's a de-stressor for me, but it didn't always become a de-stressor for me. It used to be a stressor. It used to be something that I'm like anxious about. And I know some of you guys are there or can get there, but like <clears throat> I continue to do it over and over and over and over <clears throat> till the point where I became, in my eyes, irregular and I became comfortable right? Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like guys, that's how you fucking win in life, in your fitness journey and everything. Like you continue doing it over, like show me someone that has done something consistently for six months plus over and over and over and has failed. Right? Consistently. <clears throat> I'm not talking about like, yeah, I eat clean. And then like you throw it away on weekends. Like Show me somebody that has ate clean for six months straight, has worked out for six months straight, not worked out for two days and then fall off five days. Show me somebody that has done, has done the work over and over and over and over and failed. And guess what? Like if you're watching right now, I haven't decided if I'm releasing this on a podcast yet or not, but like if you're watching this right now, you are a client and you have the framework outlined for you. You have the nutrition, you know how to eat for your goals, you know how to train for your goals, you have the sets outlined, the reps outlined, the rest times outlined, that you know how to make adjustments on the go, like everything is outlined for you, okay? So you're already like, you know, 70%, 90% ahead of the game of where you were and where the general public is, right? So imagine you apply this, all the information that I have given you in this program, and you apply relentless consistency. That's how you stay motivated and never fall off. You embody it. I don't fucking miss my workouts. I never miss my workouts, right? If some, for whatever odd reason, shit hits the fan, like I'm going to make it up the next day. I cannot tell you the last time that I have not worked out for three or four days consistently without plan. You know why? Because it's always in my plan. It's always something I do. So staying motivated with your nutrition, staying motivated with your workouts, staying motivated with your cardio, you don't need to get motivated. Fucking go on YouTube.com and find motivation. You'll find it, I guarantee you. But you will not, you will not stick with that motivation. You have to make it a habit, okay? Stop thinking motivation and start thinking habit. What are the habits that I need to do to never fall off? And that is, that is ultimately how you always stay motivated. All right? Hope you guys all have an amazing day. If you've made it this far, hashtag replay. Um, hope you guys have an, the best day of your life. And we'll talk later.